What's up guys, Isaac here. Today I'm showing you this thing. So this video is sponsored by nobody because I can't get a single soul who wants to spend money on me. Here is the new 2DS XL and there's no smaller version. Um, Pokeball edition with little Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu. Pikachu, in case if you never noticed. Tom Pikachu's. So, I've already unboxed it. How you open it up is there's like a little flap here that you pull out. And you can lift this part up. And then it's like, whoa. Originally was uh, another thing like this, but inside of here to protect the screen and stuff. There's some AR cards. And this one actually comes with a charger, and the original ones didn't, and it says nom, like nom 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 This is actually a button right here, if you didn't know, and it goes in and it clicks. R, L, Z, R, and Z, L. Then the charging port, and that, then something that's new is the cameras are on the back to make the top as slim as possible. Same with the speakers. The speakers are right here. Um, the game card slot right is right here. And you just put in a game right now. I'm currently playing Pokemon Ultra Sun. And go Pokemon fans. And then here's the SD card slot on the new 3DS XL, not the 2DS. You have to like unscrew all of these to access the SD card. But right here, it's just like that. And, um, it comes with a 4 gigabyte SD card, but I easily upgraded it to a 32 gigabyte. Um, the overall feel of it is absolutely amazing. And, here is the stylus. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. The stylus is like an inch and a half long original 2DS stylus, right? And it's like an actual usable stylus. And this is the new 2DS XL stylus. The headphone jack, one thing that I don't like is that if you plug in headphones, I'll just show you with this one, is if you plug them in, and like you can see this little bit right there, I'll show you with this stylus, like that, you see that, yeah, that can get sort of annoying, but whatever. One thing that I don't like about this, is that if you put in like the slightest bit wrong, it doesn't like to go in, you have to get like perfect. And then, one thing that's new about this series, is that the button is on the top like that, just another thing, and then the volume slider is on the bottom again, not like the new 3DS, but one thing that I like is that when it's like, it's like this, and it goes to here, and then you can click, so that you can hear, like you can hear, and it, it, it clicks in place so that you can't like accidentally move it up if you want it to be silent if you're playing in the library. So opening up the new 2DS XL, and you can obviously tell that this is a totally sleeker design. And here is uh, that thing, and notifications, I think. Yeah, this is notifications. And you can also probably tell that the camera is on the hinge now, and it's stationary. Another thing to try to make this as slim as possible. And the speakers are gone, so this is just like glass bezels, I guess, and I really like the graphics on the new one, really comfortable for longer extended uses, but I don't like that these buttons, when like they push down into the actual thing, like that, and it's more noticeable when you're actually playing. These ones only have L and R, 
This thing's on the top. The but this is also a lot more mushy. Like listen, can't even hear that. The circle pad seems a lot more responsive than this one, even though this one has a deeper pivot. Than this one or whatever you call it. And the mic is on the top now, and the mic was at the bottom of this one. Starting selector on the side. These ones just feel better though. And then home button is on this side. The home was here. A lot of the times, the home button on this one didn't work at all. So, yeah. Also, the touch screen seems a lot better. And since it's larger, it's actually a lot easier to use. So, I'm, so, I'm going to put the on, the on button at the exact same time. So three, two, one, go. So this one actually opens up a little bit slower. So the front facing camera and the front facing mic is not good at all, as you can tell. But also, um, yeah, it's just terrible. You should never use the camera unless if it's like for anything. But you can see the major lag that's going on in my voice. So the top and the well, the top mainly, the bottom is like smooth plastic, but the top right here and here are like matte finish, red and white, and then this is like glossy black, but it's fingerprint sensations, uh, but unlike the new 3DS, the where the entire thing is glossiness, this looks a lot better, I think. That's my review of the new 3DS, a uh, new 2DS XL Pokeball Edition. If there's anything that I missed, or anything that you still want me to answer about this, please comment in the section down below. I might answer it in a future video. See ya.